Deep Dive Gaming. Hello, people, and welcome back to Deep Dive Gaming. I'm the Mariner, and this is Fallout 4 with Sim Settlements 2. Continuing from the last episode, we are working on how to HQ. Use the HQ system now to set up places for Jake and Aiden to do their work. All right, Aiden's going to be taking possession of that area. Jake is going to be taking possession of a closet of all places. I'll show you that really quick while the HUD loads. So he gets this closet here. So let's go ahead and start with this one. I'll turn on the light so we can see. Hold the button down to get into command mode. And then we'll go to facilities. Go to clean up. Main level. And then project clean entryway. That's Aiden's spot. Let's start with clean lower closet south. Pause for reading. Okay, and we don't have to leave the menu this time. We've got enough facilities energy. We can actually go back and do the clean entryway for Aiden. And then it's just a waiting game. Mala is supposed to be in there cleaning, but whatever. We'll watch her walk away from her job. Doing a little happy dance there, Mala. I gave her two jobs. She's not sure which one has priority. All right, so that's one. That's this place cleaned out. You can see the monitor. We're just waiting for the other one to drop. There it goes. And then I'll no notice the HUD at the top, the facilities energy. The bar fills in when there's energy being used. And when jobs are done, that blanks out like it just did. So let's go ahead and come in back into command mode. We'll go to facilities. We'll go to construction. We'll go to engineering job. That's the maintenance closet. We got enough to build it. And then we'll back out and go over to security jobs. Entry security checkpoint. Let's build that as well since we got the energy. And again, it's a waiting game. Also, I'll point out that we get a little bit of decoration when a room is under construction. Ooh, we even get a sign. Maintenance. Nice. Voila. I'll let you read that. Assign Jake to engineering department. And then the other one should finish here in just a second. Security department. Again, paused reading for you guys. Assign Aiden to security departments. Ooh. Alrighty. So, for this, again, we go into command mode. And then this time we've got extras. We still have facilities, but we have engineering and security. And we've got a new HUD installation. Supply usage. And at the top, engineering and security have now been added. So to assign personnel, we grab the department, go to manage, and the first person you assign is the department chief. I'll go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and grab Jake to engineering workers and perception is what's needed for engineering, which I find curious, but we'll take it. And then we need to leave. And yep, you see up there at the top facilities has dropped to nine personnel. Engineering is now one personnel. Jake is now the department head for the engineering department. Great. And then our water moved, if you look down below. Supply usage, water has increased. Let's go ahead and get Aiden assigned here. So, command mode. Back out of the engineering department. Head over to security. Manage. Assign staff. Alright, this is 
confusing and I think maybe a bug related to one of my other mods. So I'm going to see what happens if I remove everybody from this list. Exit out. Or let's see. Accept. And then put Aiden back in. Accept. And exit. There we go. That's not what we want as far as the message is concerned. So I may need to reload and try this again, but let's wait. Maybe it'll fix itself. Maybe the words were just wrong. I'm not entirely sure what mod it is that I've got that's causing this problem. I may have to do some investigating and let you guys know later. So it doesn't look like Aiden is being assigned. So I'm going to go back into my command mode and we'll try this one more time. If this doesn't work, we'll reload and try again. There, let's try Aiden. There we go, that worked. Aiden is now department head for security department. Perfect, okay. So I'm glad I was able to overcome that little bug. Engineering upgrades, I'll let you read that in the pause. Okay, so use the engineering menu in command mode to upgrade. I think it was saying upgrade this. So again, command mode. And then we'll go to engineering. And we've got an upgrades menu now. Security room. Entry metal detectors. And typically what you'd be doing during this period if you're playing for yourself is starting this and then wandering off to do other things waiting for the notification that it's been built but because we're doing this in this format i'm just hanging out upkeep yay so we will go ahead and let you read that in the pause meet you with your staff okay so that is up this away I always go the wrong way around that fountain. Hey there. Oh, hey! Um, we've a bit of a problem. What's the problem? Our building supplies. We use them all up. We can't do no more projects. I'm surprised you didn't have more materials on hand. Has there been some sort of disruption to our supply chain? Oh, let me guess. We don't have a supply chain. No, we don't have one. <sighs> then I suppose we'll have to start setting some up, won't we? Hmm. Jake explained you own and operate a number of settlements. Perhaps we could take the supplies we need from one of them. Whoa, whoa, hold on. You can't just take people's stuff like that. Why not? Why not? Look, I don't know how stuff works in a vault. But up here, people have independence, and they work hard for what they got. If we go demanding what's theirs, then we're no better than the gunners in my book. She's right. You're damn right I am. Glad you understand. So what do you propose we do instead? Well, instead of just taking from people, why not just ask them to donate what they got spare? Providing we ask nicely. I bet most people helped by ASAMs would be happy to send us what they can. If we're putting it to a vote, I vote for the Ask Nicely plan? I have my doubts. But you know the people of the Commonwealth better than I. If you think asking nicely would work, then go ahead. I shall await the bountiful inflow of supplies with bated breath. What's the plan? Well, guess we should go find someone to ask about supplies. Hey! You know who we should talk to? Stodge and the others. I bet they'd be willing to send some supplies and materials our way. I'd be glad to talk to him. All right. I'll meet you there. If you can get the supplies, I'll make sure they're all organized and stored properly. That way, we can use them as soon as they arrive. I should get back to work. Hope everything goes well at the settlement. And with that, Lupe volunteers to become the logistics department head. 
So, anyways, let me head out of GNN and I will uh, talk about some, a change that I made as part of rebuilding my save to cover the HQ segment of the mod. Okay, so our next part of how to HQ is to meet Teresa at Jamaica Plain to speak with Stodge. That change I mentioned was to send Stodge and crew over to Jamaica Plain instead of the traditional sunshine tidings. So I'm going to head that way. All right, here we are in Jamaica Plain. And this WG City Plan is so packed full, it's giving my video card to work out to maintain a decent frame rate. Hey, hey Stodge. How you doing? So, Teresa tells us you need some supplies for your new headquarters, build materials and so on. That's right. You helped us out when we needed it most. Time to return the favor. We'll gladly share what we can. See? I told you they'd help. Guess all that's left now is to set up a supply line. Hey, you think maybe that's something the ASAMs could build? You know, the infrastructure and stuff. Maybe. We'll see. Give it a try. What have you got to lose? I'm gonna head back to the HQ. I'll see you there. Okay. Teresa exits stage left. Before we take off, however, I want to check out the workshop see if we've got enough people here if we need more people here or if we have extra people here i'm thinking we may not quite have enough people here because we got this going on also look at the size of the settlements we may that may be why it's taxing my system is there's a lot here Okay, so it says we have 22 people out of the 23 that this settlement supports. And it's at level 1 and it's already struggling. I think this is an only a one level city plan, so that's okay. And eventually, with the radio beacon here, we'll hire someone to take over this junk pile. Because I think this is the only thing that's not occupied at the moment. Uh, I could be wrong. We'll look at this settlement later as we have need let's go ahead and head back to gnn and logistics department is now unlocked we know who we're supposed to assign to that assign lupe see so we'll go back into command mode here we'll go to logistics and you see at the top we've got an extra bar there logistics Manage, re reassign staff. Hopefully we don't have the bug we had with Aiden. Oh good. Lupe. Secret play agreements. Establish supply agreement with Jamaica Plain. So we come into here. We're in logistics. We go to coordinate. And then establish supply agreements. Build that. And we will select Jamaica Plain. And then while we wait for that to get established, I'll mention that the departments here are like the settlements. Each special stat helps with a certain department for facilities you want strength for engineering you want perception for security you want agility for logistics you want endurance there will be others later that will unlock and i'll mention it when we get to that point point. and there we go logistics department gnn now our logistics meter will always be full that one won't reduce unless we cut supply lines. And we could probably set up another supply line. So I'm going to do that really quick before I get too far in here. Uh, we want to do another one nearby. And I'm not actually sure who's got the most available right now. So we're just going to choose Merkwater. Establish supply agreement. So our logistics is full. 
In order to have more supply agreements, we need to have more people with endurance. We will deal with that soon, but we have investigate the arguments. So this time I'll take the correct way around. And we can already hear arguing. Maybe we need to reassign some personnel. Move around what we already have. That would still leave some departments shorthanded. Well, I don't know how anyone expects me to do anything with the number of people I have. Oh, hey, welcome back. What was that argument about? Seems we've not got enough people to cover each department's needs. So everyone's fighting again. I love Teresa. <clears throat> this is an interesting room. Ah, you like it? I found it when I was looking for a good meeting room. It had plenty of space, came with a big table. Besides a working coffee machine, I mean, what else could we want? Just hold on a minute. I'm sure we can work this out. Nice to hear a voice of reason. Look, I got an idea on how to fix this personnel shortage, but it's something I'm gonna have to run past you first. You've got my attention. Let's hear this idea. Even though I'm staring at the table? It's a solution similar to our supply shortage problem. Simply put, we ask people from settlements to come work at the HQ. I can't imagine many, if any, would turn us down. Huh. That's a good idea. After all, we got plenty of talented folks living in our settlements. But if we did start bringing in more people, we'd need someone to take charge of them all. Otherwise, it would just be chaos. Ugh, fine. If it stops you knuckleheads from bickering, I'll do it. I'll take charge of personnel. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Are you sure? I got this. Quit worrying so much. All right, problem solved. Next time you're near a settlement, scout out potential talent and send them our way. For now, let's get back to work, everyone. We still got a lot to do. Hey, darling. If you got a moment, come talk to me in the comrade room. All right, so before we end this, we'll handle that quest later. So as everyone files out, we will enter command mode and we have yet another installation, administration. So we'll head over there. We will manage. And as you can see, administration requires charisma. And of course, we assign Teresa. Teresa is now department head of the administration department. So wheat. And that should update the quest now. Now got the basics down to start exploring more of what HQ has to offer. So... Well, I'll let you pause read these things. Now that you've established the basics, the Concord volunteers are headed home. So we're about to lose some people. Recruit staff for HQ by speaking to settlers with a recruitment clipboard. That is here. We'll take that. And then I'm going to a quick bit. I'll read that in just a moment. We're going to equip this to here. And then when we go to talk to someone, we can equip the clipboard. Say no to that. We have to have it armed, and then we can talk to people. So I'll go ahead and put it away for now. And then let me bring this up. We'll take that off for now. How to HQ. So we're still in this quest. Recruit staff for HQ by speaking to settlers with the recruitment clipboard. So we'll do that in the next episode, because there's a life hack I want to show for that. 
and we'll probably go around finding recruitable settlers or unique NPCs from the Sim Settlement 2 mod to assign here. In the meantime, we'll leave that. And what we do have, I think, left to do today is, and the fact that that number is black makes it really hard to read. So I have to put some light behind it so I can read it. Currently, it still says we have 10 people, but that's about to drop, I think, to six. We need to build more living quarters for people. Yep, there it goes. Six people now. So we come into facilities, we go to cleanup, main level, and then there's two nice little rooms down here that I want to clean up and have as living quarters. S clean southeast, offices east and west. These are going to be for Jake and Lupe. So I'm going to go ahead and choose And here we get to choose what we're going to use each room we're cleaning for. You get a variety of options, but it depends on the room you're cleaning. And sometimes you don't get any variety in, off, in selections. Like this, for example, logistics head private quarters, or living quarters, or engineering head private quarters, or logistics head. So we're going to go ahead and assign this one to logistics head. This will be Lupe's room. And then I'm going to back out, come back in. You notice that that gets faded. It's not done yet, but it's also under construction, so we can't select it again. We come in here, we'll go ahead and do West. And then Logistics Head Private Quarters, we just did. We want Engineering Head Private Quarters. This will be Jake's room. We'll select that. So let me show you where these rooms are really quick. So we got the broadcast center here. We turn right. And we've got these curvy little rooms. One here, one here. So let me show you how to use this from here. So we'll grab, we'll activate. We'll do room construction. And all we have is Jake's quarters. We'll go ahead and do that. Hopefully we've got the materials we need for that. Good, good. And then let's try building Lupe's room here. Activate. Room construction. Lupe's quarters. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. We're just shy on that. So we'll go ahead and hit cancel. We'll wait for Jake's room to get completed and then we'll build Lupe's room. Alrighty, there we go. We have Jake's room done. Let's build Lupe's. There we go. Okay, Lupe's quarters are now complete. So, if we go into command mode, we should be able to see how many people we can have total here. Okay, it's hard to see. Let me put it up against the light. There we go. So, we've got six people here, max of eight. That gives us a room to hire a couple of people. We'll do that in the next episode and then use them to continue cleaning out HQ and building quarters and other facilities that we need. So that's it for this episode. Until next time, check out my For Science series here on YouTube. I'll start recording that after I'm done working on this episode. Also, check out my Twitch channel where I do more of this, Sim Settlements 2. On Thursday nights, I play other games this coming Thursday. And for the month of March, we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program because next Friday, February 24th, Kerbal Space Program 2 becomes available through early access on Steam. And I've been looking forward to playing that game. Also, check out the community tab here on YouTube for announcements on streams and other information. Until next time, enjoy Fallout 4 with Sim Settlements 2. Bye-bye.